With R80.10, the new default profile optimized sets all newly downloaded IPS protections to detect staging, or inactive. This video will elaborate on the logic behind this configuration. Let's take a look at the Threat Prevention Profile General page. It includes a section for protections activation mode in which they can be set to prevent, detect or inactive, based on the confidence level, low, medium or high. Additional granularity can be achieved via the additional activation section of the profile configuration menu. Where the admin can select IPS protections to activate and to deactivate. These categories only filter out or add protections that comply with the activation mode thresholds, confidence, severity and performance. Moving forward, in the IPS updates menu, we see that newly downloaded protections are automatically set to detect. This means that if a newly downloaded protection was supposed to be in prevent or detect mode, it will be set to detect staging, until decided otherwise. To sum up this option, as long as the admin doesn't clear the flag, all new IPS protections will be set to detect carrying a little clock icon. The logic is to keep them in staging for evaluation period until the admin decides they should behave according the original profile settings and not by the IPS update settings. It requires the admin to manage all staging protections and fully understand their impact and in time, change their status to prevent. To achieve that, the admin should first review all new IPS protections and also filter all protections with staging status in the IPS protections pane. The admin would have to address protections in staging state from all IPS profiles. Note that this pane presents only profiles in use. Make sure to clear the staging status from all profiles by right-clicking the protection and selecting Restore to Profile Settings. Lastly, on the Logs and Monitor section, choose Query, and filter all logs that appear in the query page for protections that are in staging state only. That way, you can change the activation for protections with logs with confidence. For protections which were not matched, best practice would be to keep them in Prevent. Join the conversation, connect and share with Checkpoint experts and the entire community at community.checkpoint.com.